Okay, so let's prove that cyclotomic polynomials are irreducible. That means a polynomial f of x of the following form, x power p minus 1, p minus 2, and so on, plus x plus 1, where p is a prime. So such polynomial um, is irreducible over Q. Of course, in this case, it will also be uh, irreducible over Z, but uh, we want to solve this axis by applying Eisenstein criterion for irreducibility. And, of course, um, we cannot uh, do this directly, because this polynomial with a constant term equals to 1 uh, cannot satisfy Eisenstein criterion. But we can uh, pose the following remark. It is possible sometimes to substitute the variable and uh, study another polynomial uh, and show irreducibility for this polynomial. So my remark is that if, say, a polynomial f of x is reducible, then so is also the polynomial, say, h of x, which I define to be f of x plus some constant a. Right, so given this, we can apply these uh, substitutions or shifts and check irreducibility for H, which would imply irreducibility for F. So the reason, of course, is uh, clear here. If, say, F is reducible, suppose I can write F as a product of two polynomials of smaller degree, Well then, also h is reducible, right? Because I can write it as namely, say, uh, well, f1 of x plus a f2. And if you call this, say, h1, h2, then you have written h as a product of two polynomials of degree strictly, strictly lower. So this is one, um, one thing that we can do. A deeper, a deeper reason for this uh, trick to, to work is that this, um, this operation x in x plus a is an automorphism of the field k. And so this would send uh, irreducible polynomials under this transformation in an irreducible polynomial. But this is not uh, so important in this specific case. It just works for this obvious reason. So to prove irreducibility, I use uh, the fact that our polynomial f can be written as a ratio of two uh, polynomials, namely as the polynomial x power p minus 1 over x minus 1. So if you divide this xp minus, pi, minus 1 by x minus 1, you get precisely f. So uh, consider f uh, the shift. So we, we take h of x to be the polynomial f of x plus 1. And notice that the so the, the constant term of h, so if I evaluate h at 0, of course not using this ratio expression, which has singularity at x equal to 0, um, but um, we can evaluate using the, the first form I gave for f, and you see that this would be the sum of 1's p times, so this is precisely p. So the constant term 
of h is, is divisible by p, by the prime number p, and of course not by p squared. So one way then, um, one way to, I want to use Eisenstein criterion on h, and for this, well, I can proceed in two ways. Uh, on one hand, I could say, I consider h of x, which of course can be written as I, if I substitute in this expression here for f, I get h x plus 1 power p minus 1 over uh, x. Then I want to study um, whether the coefficients of this polynomial are divisible by p, so I can also reduce this expression modulo p. So I do a modulo p reduction here. And well, if you if you know that in characteristic p, so if in, in zp, if you want, uh, we always have a, an identity, say a plus p power p is equal to a power p plus p power p. Well, if you know this, then this expression is very easy to reduce. Namely, it would be x power p plus 1 power p minus 1 over x. And of course, this uh, gets cancelled, and this is equal to x p minus 1. So modulo p, our polynomial at x uh, h is equal to x p minus 1, and since it is h has a has degree p minus 1, of course, it means that uh, it satisfies Eisenstein criteria, because by reduction modulo p, all the coefficients of lower degree, uh, of the, of lower degree uh, than h have been killed by this reduction, and that, that means that they are divisible by p. And we already noticed that for the constant term, this is divisible by p but not by p squared. So we could co conclude here that h is uh, irreducible and therefore f is irreducible. Of course, the other way, a uh, bit uh, rather direct, is just to expand this, uh, this computation more. So, so if you want, this is the first way, and this is, let's do it in another way, then h of x we just uh, expand the computation. Of course, this I apply here the binomial theorem, and I can write this as the sum, say, of k from 0 to uh, p of the binomial coefficient p over k times x power, right here I could use power p minus k or power k, um, and I would choose power k and power p minus k for 1, but this doesn't change anything. Minus 1 over x. So here you see that um, what is the, in this sum, the, the term with, when k is equal to 0 is just 1. So the first term gets deleted with this one, and I can just uh, start the sum by one, and therefore also then I can um, simplify x here with k minus one. In other words, let me rewrite this as a sum from k equals to one to uh, p of p over k of x power k minus 1. Now how does this go? Well, when k is equal to 1, we have p over 1, which is p, of course. And then we have p over 2, x power 2, and so on, until we get to, um, well, say we have p uh, over p choose p minus 1, x power p minus 1, and then, um, no, sorry, p 
p minus 2 since I was getting wrong because here we have this k minus 1 so here is p minus 2 so this is another small mistake here there was an x and then x squared so this is correct now and then of course we have the coefficient p over p which is just 1 that multiplies x power p minus 1 and here you clearly see uh, that Eisenstein, Eisenstein criterion applies here the constant term divisible by p and not by p squared and all the other coefficients are divisible by p except the leading coefficient so we can conclude that h is irreducible applying Eisenstein and therefore h uh, f as well